Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, party people out there. Welcome to a special edition of The Last Dance reunion episode hosted by yours truly, Al P. Now let me get right down to it. During the championship Chicago Bulls run in the 90s, this man had every dark-skinned brother and a mama rocking a bald head on purpose. He is considered a GOAT, the greatest of all time, which is the exact same thing I just said. Without further ado, let us welcome his airness, Michael Jordan. Call me Michael. You know I don't have to do this show, right? I could be anywhere in the world playing golf and losing bets. Thank you, Michael, for coming, okay? Uh, however, rumor has it that you were actually concerned that people would see you as a horrible person after seeing this documentary. However, according to the majority of our viewers, they don't really see you as a horrible person, but you do come across as a bit of a snitch. Roll the clip, Bob. Oh, yeah, man. It was, it was my rookie season. Uh, we were in a small hotel in Peoria, and uh, I was looking for my teammates everywhere. I couldn't find them. And I finally knocked on the door, and I heard somebody say, Who is it? And when I went inside, practically the whole team, except me, you know, there was lines over here, Weed over there, women on the other side. Finally, after two hours, I said, you know what? I'm out because if they raid this place, I could lose a lot of endorsements. <laughs> Mo, Mike, Mike, my parents are going to be watching this. Put the camera right here. Mom and Dad, your son is a drunk, okay, and a hope monger. And he owed me five dollars from the last card game we played. Who he was with, though? Uh, Teresa. Woo, woo, it's dusty in here. You know I don't have to do this show, right? I mean, I could be anywhere in the world selling overpriced shoes to underprivileged kids. What else you got? I mean, what do you have to say about all this, Mike? Go. I will say this though, you know I don't have to do this right. I mean, I could be anywhere in the world surrounding myself with yes men and blowing first round draft picks. Let's move on, shall we? We brought another special guest. I mean, you can't mention Batman without mentioning Robin. You can't mention Ike without Tina. And you definitely can't mention Michael Jordan without Scotty Pippen. Welcome, Scotty Pippen. You'll never be as good as my Michael. Scotty, who would be your top five NBA players of all time? That's a good question. Uh, let me see. It'll be Dr. J. Magic, Larry, Michael, and Michael. Uh, Scotty, you, you mentioned Michael Jordan twice. That's only four players. We also brought another special guest, one of the official bad boys of the Detroit Pistons and the Negro you love to hate Isaiah Thomas. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Isaiah, uh, every time we see you, you always have a huge smile on your face. Are you high? No, I'm not high. I, I was just born this way. But not to cut you off, I should have been selected on that 92 Olympic Dream Team. I mean, no disrespect to Stockton, but if you look at my resume, I had more steals, more assists, and tighter shorts. 
That's a very good point, Isaiah. Uh, Michael, you want to jump in on this? Uh, Michael, are you selling shoes right now? Of course not. You know, I would never try to sell shoes during a time like, okay, I'm selling shoes. I mean, it's in my contract. I got to sell these Nikes everywhere I go. Sorry. Look, everybody know I don't like Isaiah because he didn't shake my hand. But I had nothing to do with him not being selected in the 92 Dream Team Olympic team, okay? All I said was, who's playing, and it better not be Isaiah. I mean, come on, Mike. With all due respect, I mean, if I had to choose between you and Isaiah, I mean, the choice is pretty much obvious. I mean, no disrespect, Isaiah. Can't be denied without a shadow of a doubt that I had the tightest shorts in NBA history. Uh, Michael, uh, some of your teammates have confessed that you weren't always the easiest player to get along with at times. Uh, roll some of that footage, Bob. Shoot the ball, ho! Got my eyes on you. Look, if you don't make this next shot, I'm going to trade your ass. There's no iron team, but it's an iron win, and I got $100 on the Broncos game. What's up? I'm just going ahead and say it, man. You know Mike act like a little bitch. I mean, you know that motherfucker. You know how hungry you can be after a regular game? Man, I was hungry after that bad game, man. I don't, I don't, that ain't right, man. He shouldn't have did me like that, man. That's right. I said he shouldn't eat. If a man can't rebound, he shouldn't eat. That's in the Bible, okay? Mike, um, let's talk about the gambling allegations, okay? Uh, rumor has it that you have been reported to have incurred as much as up to a million dollars in gambling debts by playing golf. What do you have to say to all your fans about this? Look, man, okay, I didn't have a gambling problem back then, okay? I had a golf problem, all right? I sucked at it, all right? But I'm way better at it now, okay? You wanna find out what you're doing after the show? $1,000 a hole, put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> Sorry, Mike, I don't play golf. Charles Barkley? We didn't invite you, Charles. What are you doing here? Next question. See, see hell no. Nah. See, that couldn't have been me. He, he only do certain people like that. See, he couldn't have done me like that. Mike, if you would have did me like that, I would have bust your ass. I... Now, now, gentlemen, calm down, okay? It's not that serious. Mike, come on, please put your tongue back in your mouth. Oh, uh, Michael, in looking back at your career, uh, and the sacrifices that you've made for your team. Uh, would you have done things differently? Look, man, I want six championships, okay? You ever won anything, huh? Oh, uh, well, I, I won a spelling bee once, and I made the honor roll in fifth grade. Does that count? Well, come talk to me after you have won six championships then. 